Hi, my name's David. I live in Dumfries here, and I've brought along my three dogs. Uh, what makes these dogs unique is they all are survivors from the Korean meat farm trade. Um, I've got Luna, who is a Jindo, Layla, who is a Sapsuri, and Hermione, who is a Tosa. If you were traveling home uh, on December 9th and you heard an interesting news story on WTOP about a dog being loose on 95, um, I'm here to talk about that dog because I found out that that dog has only been in the United States for five days. It was rescued from the Korean meat trade in South Korea and brought here. Um, the new owners had taken it to the dump freeze vet for a checkup and unfortunately while in the parking lot it had backed out of its uh, harness and ran away. The uh, dog was seen getting onto 95 with state police getting out of their cars trying to uh, uh, corral the dog but unfortunately it slipped away from them and it hasn't been seen since. Uh, we've been in the area putting up flyers all over Route 1, 95, and 234, which is where the dog was last seen. More information about the Korean uh, dog meat trade is uh, its out there. It's something that still happens, and it's actually uh, addressed on an international level with such large groups as the Humane Society International and Change for Animals Foundation, but also grassroots uh, groups that are in Korea themselves made up of Koreans that don't want to see this continue on anymore. This particular dog, Paul, came from free Korean dogs, which was founded by Nami Kim, and the dog was sent here um, to Dumfries and subsequently went missing from there. It's a issue that continues to this day. It's very debatable, and um, you know we recognize things such as we eat cow and pigs and things like that. Um, but in Korea, it's the one country where this is still legal. Unlike where dog meat is eaten in Indonesia um, and China. In Korea, it is legal and there's professional farms set up, there's thousands of them, and there's no animal uh, regulation. So these dogs that are being raised aren't treated well at all, they have um, uh, bad upbringings, and then they end up on people's tables. Luna here, she spent her first nine months of her life in a cage, and so she's very shy and not very trusting of people, and that's kind of where Paul is. Paul is in a strange new land that doesn't understand a word of English, has only been spoken to in Korean, um, and will not be approached by anybody. So it's just a matter of having to spot Paul and then subsequently trapping him. Layla was somebody's pet that became unwanted and was dropped off at a meat farm. I actually went to Korea and saw her there on a meat farm, and when we rescued her, she had already been trained and knew what a leash was and how to ride in a car. And Hermione here, she's the Tosa, she was brought off of the far farm as a young puppy. Unfortunately, these dogs are used for eating but also dog fighting. Um, if somebody happens to see Paul, the best thing they can do is call either the Prince William County Animal Control, who definitely is on the lookout for him, or the owners themselves, which can be reached at the phone number that you see on these flyers. There will not be any uh, calling of Paul to them, um, as he just doesn't trust anybody. So right now, Paul's information is posted on uh, numerous social media websites. Um, they've also contacted all the local animal uh, shelters. Um, they've contacted Quantico National uh, Marine Corps Museum. They've uh, posted flyers all up and down Route 1 and 234, which is where Paul was last seen. And in fact, today they've actually hired an animal tracker who is somebody that uses a trained dog to follow the scent of dogs and hopefully reuniting them with their owners.